David Page, I'm the developer of Insulad Insulating Paints and Additives. I developed these products working with the Technology Exchange Program through NASA. Insulad products are state-of-the-art insulating paints and additives. This video is about insulation and how it affects your heating and cooling expenses. It's important to understand that heat always travels to cold. In the winter time, it's warm inside your home because of your heater. That heat tries to migrate out of your home. The more it migrates out of your home, the higher your heating costs. In the summertime, the reverse is true. It's warm outside, the heat migrates into your home. The more heat migration into your home that you have, the harder your air conditioning system has to work to take care of that heat. They both relate to higher energy expenses. There are three types of heat transfer. First one I'll discuss is convection. Convection is simply airflow, warm air flowing to cold air. The second is conduction. An example of conduction is in the summertime, the sun's shining on the outside walls and roof of your home. The walls get warm and the heat migrates through conduction toward the cool interior of your home. The third type of heat transfer is due to thermal radiation. An example of this is standing in the shade in the summertime, air temperature is 80 degrees. Now the air temperature out in the sunlight is the same, however when you walk out in the sunlight you feel much much warmer and that's because radiant energy from the sun that's striking your body. Radiation is the largest source of heat transfer and accounts for over 70% of heat loss and heat gain into your home. Everyone knows what temperature is. Many people don't understand BTUs. BTUs are simply heat horsepower, if you will. An example of BTUs would be, say in the summertime, you have a small little window air conditioner in your big house. We all know that's not going to cool your house. Even though it puts out the same temperature, as your central air conditioning system. What's the difference? BTUs. There are two basic types of insulation. The common type, as you've probably seen before, fiberglass and foam. These are resistors. They resist the passage of heat through conduction. They do not deal with radiation, which it, as I mentioned before, is the largest source heat loss and heat gain into your home. How do we deal with radiation? Heat transfer, commonly, you'll see aluminum foil, and now the other option is Insulad, insulating paints and additives. Insulad paints and additives act in the same manner as aluminum foil does. They act as a thermal or radiant barrier, and they reflect a substantial amount of the radiant energy that would be entering or exiting your home. This is the amount of thermal energy, radiant energy, striking your home in the summer or trying to exit your home in the winter. When you use a reflective material, a radiant barrier like Insulad, you basically reduce the amount of thermal energy that is trying to enter or exit your home. So you're left with this amount of thermal energy your mass insulation, fiberglass or foam, has far less work to do. Your air conditioning and heating system has far less work to do. So they run less and you save money.